Wow, this is very dusty. I haven't used this in two months. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? It's MSG Games here, back at last after two months. And you're probably wondering, for the long people, got like another unexpected, unannounced, um, I guess, just break. But I wouldn't exactly have called it a break. Um, and to others, probably got wondering what the hell happened, especially the circumstances. My last video was literally, yep, two months ago, and it was the Prem and La Liga team of the season. Now let me explain this. I'm not gonna say the saying like oh like and subscribe and all that. We're just gonna get that out of the way. So I just wanted to address the fact that I haven't uploaded in two months, and it's simple. It's really simple. I just didn't want to play FIFA anymore. Excuse me, why? Especially this is the first FIFA I started properly playing FIFA in FIFA 15, and I loved it. But this is the first FIFA where I have stop playing the game before team of season's over usually it'd be just after mls team of season where i'd stop and i think there's a lot of reasons for that the first one is my team was very very good like i put a screenshot of it there like that was my team i was very happy with my team but the gameplay just made it so enjoyable to use so i never wanted to use it and i thought like what's the point of opening packs and all that if I'm not going to use the players and I just found it very boring it was very very boring I kept recording the same videos even though I'm trying to make them original they were just literal carbon copies of themselves I also just didn't have the motivation like I had clips upon clips ready to edit and I'd look at them and I'd go like no this is this is shit it's, it's not great I don't want to use this so I'd end up deleting them and then eventually I was gonna say okay I'm gonna address this but I waited two months and here we are. Not only that, but I also took some time and played some games of my own, like I usually do. I got Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I did enjoy it. I'm not gonna get too much into it, because obviously um, some people haven't played it yet, or some people have, but I give it a seven out of 10. The story is very mixed. <laughs> Dragonborn. I'm gonna leave that but that's not this isn't what it's about even though like the channel isn't just fifa it's multiple games and i'll address that later on it's gonna be a short video but also i just had a lot going on in my personal life when it comes to college and other stuff but with the news of fifa 22 especially two major things create a club and adjustments to player career i it's got me a little excited but i am not going to get hyped over it okay because i made the mistake this year I, I now know when to make a judgement of FIFA. The first two months of FIFA are always the best because the gameplay is not touched, it's usually the best, everyone has their starter teams and it's overall just a very fun experience. It's after usually November, December, it's when things start to go downhill with all the patches, broken gameplay mechanics and then just people start don't like and start don't like and start not liking the game. I will say one thing though, EA fair play to the preview thing. Obviously, I probably had to do it due to the gambling thing, but at least now we know what we're expecting. But yeah, back to the news on FIFA 22. It's looking interesting to say the least. But like I said, I'm not getting my hopes up. I will make a like judgment on the game when it's about three or four months in, and if it's the same. I will be still making FIFA 22 videos um, coming up to it, like for example if those of you look back on my channel I've made like icon predictions, that won't be happening because they've released these things called uh, Heroes, which I think is another rebrand for icons, so I'm not going to touch that. I will however probably do maybe uh, club uh, ratings like I did before, I did them like United, Liverpool, other clubs like that. There definitely will be 100% a career mode with a creator club. Now don't get me wrong, I love the Getafe career mode and eat guys did too. My most popular video this year had 1.4k views. And that was the first episode of Getafe Grimo. And then throughout, most of the Getafe Grimo's got 40-ish views, which is very good for my uh, standard. But I just think, like, I I just got sick of it because, like, I enjoy playing career mode on my own, but I felt like I wasn't making a lot of progress. Even though we finished second in La, in La Liga and in Dai scored all those goals, Liao, all that, but I just, I just felt the same. And I do, I do hate, like, leaving stuff on a cliffhanger. I do that a lot, but I hate it. But yeah, there definitely will be more updates on FIFA 22. I Like I said, I was going to keep this short. It's coming up to five minutes. But I just wanted to say thanks, guys. i seen even some people subscribing and some people even re-watching videos and even comments. And I just want to say thank you very much. I will be making videos. I, my next video might be a very short one of me just predicting my reacting to my Premier League predictions, which... <laughs> In 20th place, I've gone with probably the most controversial decision ever. It, it's West Brom. But anyway, I just want to say thank you very much, guys. I hope if you still want to join, be along for the ride. I'm perfectly fine. If you want to leave, 
also perfectly fine i can understand that inconsistency is not great on youtube but i just want to say thank you very much guys and yeah let's hope that fifa 22 is everything it's currently out to be with a bit more creative um freedom along with career mode to start off and we'll see how obviously more news comes out so thank you guys very much and as always i'll see you next time